roller skate. So, as you already figure out, I have a YouTube channel called Dirty School of Skate, and I would love to have you come on over and watch my videos. I do tons of tutorials. I'm a third generation skating instructor, and my family has owned and operated the Fountain Valley Skating Center here in Southern California since 1976. I love teaching skaters of all different genres and disciplines and skill levels, and I would love to teach you. So, what we're doing today is two videos. I've already posted one video on my channel about outdoor skating, that's part one. And this is the companion piece, which is part two. In part one, we talked about striving, how to strive when you're skating outdoors. And we did it in four sections where we went over a V pattern stride, some scissors, getting ourselves in a split stance, and then a basic, more traditional, focusing on our outside edge push so that you can skate confidently and securely outdoors. Now, we all know if you're any kind of outdoor skater, if you're a beginner or advanced, skating outdoors is a lot different than skating indoors because there's so many different factors. You've got the weather, you've got debris, you've got rough terrain. So when we're skating outdoors, we need to have options when we encounter different kinds of debris and things that, because face it, outdoor skating is scary. Outdoor skating can be very scary because things kind of just pop up on you and you don't really know. And you're all of a sudden, you're like, oh my God, I see something. And your first instinct is to stop. Let's try to get you to a point where after you're striding, you've got that down and you come up against something that your first instinct is maybe not to stop, but how to get through it, okay? So let's look at, I uh, tried to pick a, uh, an area that most of you would have in your towns. So this is just a school parking lot. All right, so when I'm skating, like all casually, I'm gonna skate in a V position. Again, we go over this in video one. Then we're gonna do some scissors. As we go over any kind of rough terrain, we're going to get in a split stance where our weight is primarily on our back foot with our front truck of our front foot lifted. And then we'll do some basic strides. But that's not everything in outdoor skating, right? There's so many different parts of terrain that you need to think about. Let's talk about curves. How do we negotiate a curve? How do we go up and down curves? This is something that's really common. How do we go up and down driveways? Again, something that's very, very common. How and what is the easiest and best efficient way to stop? Let's take these three aspects, curbs, driveways, and how to stop. Let's take them one by one. All right, skaters, follow me. Let's talk about curbs. It's a feature of outdoor skating that everyone will come upon one time or another. Every time I skate with newer skaters, especially, and they see a curb, they skate straight towards it. They step up and down. Very, very, very dangerous. You don't want to encounter a curb and step toward it. You want to get parallel to the curb, okay? So here's my curb. What I'm going to do is skate parallel, bend my knees, lift my foot, set it down and roll. When I've got it to a nice easy roll and I feel like I can transfer my body weight onto this foot, I will and that gives me the ability to lift the outside foot or the down foot up and over. Let me show you again. I am going to skate parallel to the curb, bend my knees, lift my foot, skate, shift, lift. What we are doing in this moment is one of the most important things of skating, which is focusing on body weight and moving your body weight not necessarily focusing on your feet. I also want you to take notice of what's happening with my upper body, my waist to my head. This is not getting crazy. I'm not moving it around. It's very still. It's just sitting on the bottom half, which is doing all the work. The top half is being supportive with balance. Let's look at it again. I skate parallel, down, lift, ride, lift 
down, lift, ride, lift. It's the same going down as it is going up, but most skaters can get up the curb, but when it comes to getting down the curb, they get all crazy and think it's super scary. Again, focus on transferring your body width. Here I am at the curb. Lift, down, shift, lift. Down, lift, set it down, shift your weight over, put your foot down. Another thing that you need to be very mindful of is that your feet are better off closer together than they are far apart. Watch and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You do not want to do this, okay? Well, lots of bad things can happen. Aside from that, it just looks awkward. I went down, lift, shift together. Now, if we want to practice this, it's best to do multiples in a row because everything in skating is actually easier if you maintain speed. When I say speed, I'm not talking about necessarily going fast. I'm just maintaining forward momentum. When you get scared of doing something, which is completely normal, it doesn't mean you have to slow down or come to a halt. It's actually better if you just keep a reasonable speed. So when I am practicing going up and down curbs, I like to go up, down, up, down, and get some rhythm to it. I look straight ahead, down, shift, lift, down, shift, lift. and set it down. Get into a rhythm of it, all right? Now the next part we're gonna work on is how to go up and down driveways. A lot of you are putting on your skates these days and the first thing you're gonna do is have to negotiate the driveway right out of your house. Like you put your skates on, you're out in your porch and you're looking down your sidewalk and you see your driveway and you're like, that's the only way I'm gonna get out in the street. It's kind of scary, right? No problem. If you watch the first video of this companion piece, you'll note that I said everything and I just said it. It's easier if you have your feet closer together. Also, your feet cannot be side to side. Your feet need to be in a split stance. When we are going up and down driveways, you have to use a split stance. So let's say I'm gonna come down this driveway area. The absolute worst thing I can do is feet side by side. Feet side by side, the worst. What ends up happening to your body posture is when your feet are side by side and you're going downhill, you end up leaning forward to the point where all of your weight is on your front trucks and your front wheels. Then when they hit any little disturbance in the ground, it is going to pitch you forward, more than likely onto your face or your wrist. You do not want that. So anytime you're going downhill, anytime you're going down a driveway, anytime you're going down any kind of little ramp like that, the feet cannot be side to side. They have to be in a split stance. The importance of the split stance, and again, I explained this in video number one, is you need to lower your body weight. The weight goes on the back foot. For me, this is gonna be my left with my right in front. As I push my body weight down, you'll see my hip pop out. That means, yes, all my weight is on my back foot. It's important to have the weight on the back foot so the front foot can lift up, your front truck can lift up nice and easy. When that front truck lifts on your front foot, the wheels need to only be this far off the ground. Can you see that? This far, they don't need to be this far, just this far so they can roll over any kind of debris or unevenness in the surface and get you right over it, okay? I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Skating towards it, split stance down. When I hit that, you couldn't even see it, but my right foot wheel came off the ground that much. That helped me get over all of this nonsense. I know from teaching thousands of skaters, 
that when you first see that, you just alarm bells are going off. Like, how am I possibly going to be able to skate freely over that? Focus, grasshoppers, you know what I need. I need the body weight down. Weight on the back foot, right foot or front foot. It could be your left, mine just naturally goes to my right. My weight on my back so I can lift that front up. The other part, chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area, tight. Look ahead, please do not look down. Other tip, when I'm coming around and I see my driveway here, I am not staring at it. It's like driving a car, I'm surveying far ahead. So at this point, I've already ascertained the easiest spot to get through. You know why that's important? Because for some reason, we are drawn to the hard stuff. We will look at a space to skate through and we will see the scariest spot of it and stare at it. Well, if you do that on roller skates, you will go towards that spot. So what I need you to do is quickly scan the area, find the simplest, smoothest way to get through it and say, oh, I see that spot that doesn't have a bunch of dirt and leaves. It's fairly smooth. I think I won't die. That's my spot. I've already figured that out here. I come down, drop my body weight. Lift the hair up a little bit. Yeah. Here's what happens after that. Almost every single time you come out of your driveway. You are still on your skates. You are celebrating. You have come through it and you're just like, yes, I didn't die. I'm so excited. And then all of a sudden you are confronted with something else. It could be more rough terrain. It could be a car, a dog, another person going by. God knows what it is, but you need to react. Now, let's work on stopping. Sometimes when we stop outside, the only appropriate way to stop is to turn around and get your toe stop. That means you're coming forward, 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 and you're like, okay, I have to do that quick stop in order to not get hit by a car or something crazy, all right? Let's work on that kind of stop. Now, you gotta know how to do a transition. A transition, for those of you who are unfamiliar with transitions, is when we're skating forward and we turn around backwards or backwards to forward. It's just that turning around. If you are not good with transitions, or maybe you're just insecure, you're unstable with transitions, no problem. You can work on those. I have plenty of videos and tutorials over my channel. It's all about transitions. So I'm going to act like you don't know how to do a transition. How about that? I'm just gonna teach you how to spin around real quick and hit your toe stops, all right? So we're gonna skate forward. I want you to bend your knees and lower your body weight. I want you to take both, one, two, both hands to one side, kind of hula style here. I want you to sweep them around and spin till you're backward. When you do this magical area where all skating emanates from, this area right here needs to be down. I want you to shift your body weight opposite the direction of travel, meaning I'm gonna turn this way, so I'm gonna shift my body weight this way, and I'm gonna put my arms over here a little bit, hula style. As I'm about to turn, I pull my arms in front. The second I do that, this leg reacts. This leg reacts in that the heel starts coming up. Why? Because the vast majority of my weight is over here. I pull it around until I'm facing backwards. Then I gotta hit my toe stops. Hitting your toe stops looks super fancy and it looks really difficult, but it really isn't. Let me show you. I am down, shift, opposite the direction of travel. Pull it around, get down and spring up. Jazz hands are optional. <laughs> Okay, you're, what you're gonna end up doing is, once you're skating backwards, I need you to bend your knees, get down low, and then I need you to thrust up, meaning your pelvis area needs to be pushed out in front of you, okay? So it's down, reach, spin, down, and up. 
when you thrust your pelvic area forward, I need you to stick your chest out and arch back, okay? And you can do a little pin-up pose. If you wanna look fancy, it's really, really, really smart to know how to do this. And the quicker you get at it and the more speed you get with it, the easier it is to do it. Down, reach, spin, oh. Don't be afraid to let it slide a little bit. I'm gonna go one more time, go real fast. And we'll see if we can get it to slide a little bit. Skate, skate, skate. Down, lean, spin, and hey now. Alrighty, skaters. So I hope you liked what we've gone over so far. Let's do a little like, like a, a little run through, shall we? So we started off the curb because that is something we encounter everywhere. This is how I want you to practice because I need you to practice. I need you to down, lift, shift, and up, down, lift, shift, down, down, lift, shift, and up, down, lift, shift, down. Then I need you to do lots and lots of up and downs for your driveway skating. Making sure that you remember it is weight on the back, front, with that, well, we got a toe lifted up a little bit. Turn and stop. Skaters, the only difference between a skater who can't do something and someone who's really good at doing something is practice. It's that simple. I need you to practice and do it in a meaningful manner. So if you could visit my channel, I look forward to seeing the progress you make. Feel free to leave as many comments or get in touch with me. You can direct message me, that's fine. And I would love to hear how you're doing. And um, I just wanna thank the people here at Planet Roller Skates for giving me this opportunity to talk to you guys. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day and have a great